Hey guys, it's me, and I'm, today I'm doing a review on Catastrophe. Ugh. So, um, yes. She was for $10 at Target. But I got her, uh, for Christmas. And apparently at the time, all the Monster High dolls were $10. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what that was about. That was just for the power goals. So, of course, I gotta start with the box. I'm using the background, so there's no background in this box. Oh my gosh, look at me. This is only a Target. Oh, uh, the Torlai Catastrophe. And it's part of the Power Ghouls line. I just need Voltages, Poultry Ghoul, and Wonder Wolf. Catastrophe causes big stink. The city. The city. The smell of rotten gargoyle eggs still hung thick over the SKRM arena. Today, as cleanup crews gag their way through the removal of Catastrophe's latest chaotic caper. It was sheer pandemonium here last night, said MH student Laguna Blue. Fans and skaters were doing everything they could to escape the stench, but you couldn't run fast enough to get away from it. As fans rapidly excited exited the arena the mocking voice of catastrophe could be heard over the public address system saying i love the smell of rotten gargle eggs in the evening they smell like chaos racing race officials said the tubes that the eggs were launched from had originally been loaded with annoying yet non-stinky slime balloons and that the sabotage was perfectly timed for maximum chaos we had a packed crowd and scanners are coming to the finish line said a skrm official we prefer to remain anonymous. The stench was compounded by the mysterious failure of the ar arena's air conditioning and ventilation system 15 minutes before the end of the race. Rotten gargoyle eggs, RGEs, have been banned as obstacles and sanctioned indoor SKRM for almost a century, but officials speculated that there are probably still stores of them to be found in abandoned tracks in the catacombs. Unfortunately for both SKRM fans and the athletes the remainder of the season is now in doubt due to the official to the difficulty of removing of removing the lingering order Gouli Yups noted SKRM historian and referee said that when SKRM did use RGEs they, on, they only used them one at a time and only in the last match of the season so the arena had time to air out there were literally hundreds of them on the track last night and the season just started and his who could this be of course, it's Frank Tyne, Frankie Stein voltages. Sorry, I'm trying to rush this. My battery's almost dead. So here she is, and here's a cool background that I might just, I don't know, throw away or if anybody wants it. The Crafty Kitty of Chaos. And here she is. She comes with a black comb and a little comic book. It says be on the lookout. Another hero is drawing on the power of justice. Here she is. She has long hair. She doesn't have short hair. Which is kinda cool. And she has the black stripes on that one piece. She has a mask that keeps moving whenever it feels like it. And she has the same earrings as in her basic, but uh black. She has a one piece jumpsuit, but it's black and orange and red. It almost looks like it's supposed to be like fishnets. Then it's got orange and red and then has her um skull it on her chest area and she has a collar she has this one piece bracelet and gloves as always and this bracelet has a mouse on it so yeah she ha comes with like a utility belt which has everything and has a cat face on it too and this is a stand she comes on which I prefer these stands because it makes a doll look way cooler when displayed. And she has knee red knee high boots that are black on the bottom studded. So, yeah. That has been my catastrophe review and I'll see you next time.